All right, so we saved our game and we exited out. Now what you're gonna to need to do is go to your main drive, wherever you keep your users folder, go into users, pick your name, and then you're gonna need the app data folder. If it's not visible, just go ahead and change the path here to add app data, and then go to the local low folder, asymmetric software, west of loathing, and there you go, you'll see all your saved games here. Uh, the one that says backup is not the one you want to do, so we'll open up this one here. And then you can change a lot of different stuff here. Uh, you, you'll have to experiment a little bit to get the hang of it, but um, we got meat. We can easily add a bunch of meat. Uh, we got total experience. We can add that. Uh, we got XP here. Uh, we can go ahead and add some to that. Uh, but the really powerful stuff is going to be changing your inventory. You'd also see a little flag here for whatever your stomach, your liver, and spleen are at um, under daily flags if you had eaten anything, and you can change that as well if you need to. So we've got our floppy derby here, that hat. It does plus one to moxie. Let's go ahead and change that to plus 100 to moxie. And then we have our briefcase full of snakes. Um, doesn't have any enchantments on it. We're going to leave that alone for now. We got our needle. Uh, we always need more needles. Let's go ahead and change that to 55 of them. We got our nasty ring that adds to each stat. Let's go ahead and change that to something crazy. Let's just do 551 to each one. And then if you have another save, it's really easy to get different enchantments from your inventory. So let's go ahead and just look around and see what we got. Uh, here we go. Melee bonus. Uh, speed. Uh, the melee bonus can really help if you um, are a melee type fighter. Uh, but let's go ahead and just add some of those. Uh, max AP is also helpful. And we'll just paste those in here. And we don't have stomp, so let's go ahead and just delete that. We don't need that. There we go. So that ring is going to be pretty, uh, pretty potent now. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that speed one. I'm not sure how well that will work. All right. Further down here, uh, you'll see a few other things. These are just kind of stuff specific to your actual uh, save game. So it's going to show like what you chose for certain things. And then once you have a partner, it'll show your partner stats in there as well. So we've done a little bit of editing here. Let's go ahead and just save it. And then let's rerun the game and see how that affects things. All right, so we'll hit continue. And now let's go into our inventory. You can see we have 55 needles. And... Uh, we can actually extract some of these things and use those. Let's go ahead and take that skill and read it. Alright, so Nasty Ring. Uh, quite a bit of a bonus here. Floppy Derby does 100 to Moxie. So, we actually have uh, our buffed muscle at Mysticality and Moxie are all pretty high up there. And we have 33 AP, 55 Needles, so let's go ahead and just uh, head over here. I'll take some dynamite for free. Let's get some for the needle too. All right. So now we've got our gun and we have a little bit of dynamite. Let's uh, go ahead and save it again. We're going to get this little notification. Do we want to reload that? Yes, we do. All right, so dynamite. You always need more of that, right? Let's go ahead and just give ourselves 92 dynamites. And then we should have the gun here. Deputy pistol. This is the nice thing here. We got damage low of four, damage high of five. Let's go ahead and just change that to 204, 205. 
and let's make it worth a lot more just in case we do sell it later on and we can give ourselves more than one of those if we want uh, we could also add some enchantments if we really wanted to as well um, really easy to find those if you look at some of your other saves we've got a let's see here we go we got army issued sidearm that adds moxie let's just add that to our other one here Uh, but we're going to probably change that a little bit here. Uh, let's go with making Moxie increased by 111. That sounds like a good number. And then we'll save that and let's run the game again. All right. We'll hit continue. And let's go into our inventory. And we got this pretty potent pistol here. We got 92 dynamite. And. We've got all our stats here. Once we earn a little bit of experience, you want to first turn off automatically spend. Um, okay, there we go. You see we have 32 experience. So it'd be pretty easy to go locate that in the save file and change that too. Um, or you can up all your skills directly if you really want to. But let's just go and see what's going to happen when we shoot somebody. There we go. Basically an insta-kill. Alright, so obviously you can see that editing the save files is a lot more potent than trying to use Cheat Engine. You can do a lot more stuff. You can change enchantments on everything. And if you are, you know, a really filthy cheater, you could probably pretty easily get all the different achievements, uh, such as the one for having a specific amount of meat when you leave town, um, everything like that. So. There you go. That's it. Part two of how to ruin your fun in West of Loathing by cheating. All right. So hit that like button. My favorite moments in West of Loathing. Uh, there's a ton of hilarious content in this game. And uh, you're definitely missing out if you don't play through everything and read everything. So thanks for watching. See you all next time.